Hey, so today what we're going to do is we're going to create an auto incrementing table. In, in tulip tables, you have to have a unique ID. And a lot of times people just use a random string for this ID, but maybe you want it to be just an, a human readable, unique number. So here's an example of how that works. You just click this button. And it's going to keep creating a new record, which is uh, one greater than the previous one. So let's get started. The first thing I have here is just a blank application. We can put a menu button on here just so we can escape it later. And what we'll do is we want to just make a simple thing where we have a button, which is going to create a new record. So create new record. <clears throat> and then we'll display a table. So we have a table here called auto increment, which just has an ID column. Um, this is a text column or a text field. And you can add all sorts of things here. What we're going to do is auto increment this. So let's display that really quickly as an interactive table right here and we'll add it as a record placeholder in the application so auto increment here it is and then we don't have a record placeholder uh, we'll show the ID and let's add the table to here so auto increment and let's add a record placeholder so current record okay so how do we get the auto increment well <clears throat> first we want to query so we'll click on queries, create new query, and we'll call this, uh, you know, last record. And we'll have the we'll have the limit set to one record, and we'll sort it so that the most recent one is showing up. <clears throat> so this query is just going to show the first, the the newest record only. Uh, oh, sorry. So date created, newest to oldest. Cool. So we can save that query, and then we want to we want to pull that result. So we're going to do that in aggregation there. So we'll create an aggregation, and it's going to be, uh, you know, we just want a single record here. So let's just create a new one. So add aggregation. We'll call this single record, and the calculation uh, will be mode, because that's going to be able to allow us to access that ID. It's going to say what is the most common thing that's here and there's only one thing there so it's always going to give us that result so we're able to basically get the ID so let's save that we have single record here perfect and then we'll go back to the editor and we'll add the query and add the aggregation so the query is going to be called last record <clears throat> and then we'll add the aggregation <clears throat> single record and here it is so it's added and now this button, basically what we want this button to do is look up what the most recent thing is and then add one to it. Uh, what we'll do is we'll call this create new record. And we have to actually handle the fact that it could be empty. And we have to handle the fact that it's a text. And we have to make it a number and add to it. So let's do all that stuff. So table, we'll go to table records, create or load record by ID and the expression we're going to use an expression here which is going to be you know basically the uh, table record table aggregation single record that's really just the ID there and <clears throat> the problem is this could be empty so we're going to put a link function here and what a link does is says if this is empty give me this other thing so we're going to say give me zero if it's empty and then this actually has to be a number because we're going to add to it so we'll say text to number and we'll add one to it. And then in order to to load it, it has to be an, an inter, it has to be a, a text again. So I'm just going to turn it into a, a text after the fact. So it's link this turn it to a number, add one and turn it back into a text again. And we're going to do that into current record and that should be all we have to do. So let's let's uh let's test this thing. Here. If I press this, one, two, three, four, and so on. So hopefully that's helpful. 